Or, you know, like, the new bomb is, like, weird, or, like, he just was like, hey, it's the same. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. All and right, so we're right. going to get the Fox versus the Link here. Again, a, a sleeper, a sleeper, um, a hidden boss in our region here in SoCal, this this Link right here. So he's definitely going to put on a good show against Eon. I don't think they've played in bracket so far. I think he mentioned that he, they've only played on, like, Wi-Fi so far. And yeah, probably in front loser. Yeah. Probably. Okay, and there's the these dash attacks and up tilt still really strong Yo, doesn't okay. <laughs> reach below the ledge anymore so as far as ledge trapping goes it's not as good um, but yes still combos into itself yeah. for eternity yeah that little sequence we just saw with the multiple up tilts into the back air into the down tilt to imagination from Eon is oh, probably yeah. why he Custom thinks it's like for sure. <laughs> why he thinks it's like a similar matchup to Smash 4 because he did the exact same thing to Link in the last game and just like Smash 4, you know, we'd see Link use the spin attack out of shield. And he just gave Eon all the time in the world to uh, cro uh, cross him up. Yeah, no, to uh, punish him. Oh, yeah. He just, he charged that uh, S Smash for a bit. <laughs> all right, but Eon, I mean, uh, Arrow not trailing by much right here. Uh, Link has significant kill potential, but he's going to lose that as he gets caught with the up air. And that's really so nice smart catch. that Eon's still hanging on to the bomb. As long as Eon hangs on and to that blue bomb, uh, uh, Arrow can't do anything with it. Right. As when he can't even bring out another one. When your opponent has... Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, in this game, Link has a single bomb with the trade-off being that he is able to remote detonate it, uh, except for when his opponent is holding that as an item. And that's really scary for your opponent because if you're really good at item play you can do some sick item combos oh yes especially because i think it bounces two or three times on yeah. the shield so you can like zero drop it and then just yep. shield pressure for free and then re-grab it and oh it's your imagination just goes wild fortunately uh, in the i think in the latest patch they uh patched out the um attack with item in hand yes because there was a method that you could actually attack without that was not holding fair. items that, yeah. that just wasn't fair <laughs> broken Right, here we go, Eon uh, on his second stock here, Arrow at 115, and he gets caught by another up air. These dash attacks from, yeah, that's crazy. from Eon, so good. And it's crazy that the dash attack sends at such a great angle for him to follow up with something, something such as an up air. Okay, oh, going for the empty hop, and then look, fishing for down tilts. Okay, here's a grab from Eon, just gonna chuck him off stage, and Arrow snipe, ooh, doesn't get to punish the side be onto the stage though thought he would go straight to the ledge opted for a ledge jump instead he gets it there that's the ko he really the smart off, the, off the ledge that was sick and that of course sick. it doesn't matter like what part of it you get because if you hit him with the back end of the up b he it actually scoops you into the the front hit and sends you flying into the blast zone anyways right, here we go eon coming back or excuse me arrow coming back with a vengeance mm -hmm. Another dash attack, and oh, the up air is going to get stuffed out by uh, Arrow's Nair. Ooh, okay, movement coming out. Yeah, making it very difficult and tricky to tell when Arrow's going to, in fact, approach. But Eon is really the one who's been pushing the forward and pushing the momentum as well. All right, he just got it to down air into the dash attack. Ooh. Nice, just walked up slowly out of that parry, got the grab. Look at the way that Arrow is starting to ledge trap. He's looking for Eon's high recovery. Yeah. He's just looking for uh, a Nair that like, he can try and convert into into either a forward air or some type of other ledge oh, trap. But Nair okay. into up smash still works in this game. And guess what? Crucial conversion right crucial there. Crucial conversion yeah. for sure. Yeah, crucial, especially because at that percent with um, Fox at around 70 and that yeah. amount of range on, on Eon. Uh -huh. uh, excuse me. Rage on... Link? Yes, Link. The up special <laughs> was going to be very dangerous. Like, I, th I think up special out of shield or even just like a raw edge guard with up special, mm -hmm. the uh, the spin attack would have been a, a KO on Fox. And I think that's why at towards the end of game one, we were starting to see Arrow really look for Eon's high recovery, mm -hmm. trying, you know, at least exactly. stop it from approaching with a soft hit Nair and then... Uh, chase with the spin attack. Right, forcing him to recover in some other way that he can easily punish. But here oh. we go, starting off on Kalos for game number two. Again, uh, a place that uh, projectile characters like to go to just simply for having the space. But in this matchup, Fox is so fast. He can break zone, fade back, 
He has so much room to work with here. Yeah, but there's an up tilt and just fishing for what the landing option yeah. is going to be. We see another Nairn's up smash. Oh, quick yeah. back air out of shield for Arrow. So Carlos was uh, Arrow's saving grace in that situation. The Nair to up smash not going to KO with the really big blast zones. Okay, oh, that one will. Yeah, big up smash. And they actually buffed the hitbox of the up smash no on Fox. Compared to the Smash 4. It's bigger. Oh, okay. I was, like, I was like, bro, no. <laughs> no, they didn't buff it again. <laughs> They're like, once is enough, you know. Everybody gets one. Uh, Everybody gets one. So, Arrow with a steep hill to climb right now. Definitely not out of the realm of possibility. He gets a boomerang to forward air, setting up a potential ledge trap and edge guard. Eon making it safely back to the stage. Okay. Oh, gets the grab from those hops. Now, even taking out a little bit of extra damage with the boomerang. And Eon being very patient when it comes to coming off the ledge, getting out of this corner. Nice, the spin attack out of shield, getting that KO only 1.1% on Arrow before he takes that stock. And I think Eon knew that's what Arrow was looking yeah. for because the way he has really approached uh, Arrow, he was very calm, he was uh, taking his time, and he was trying to put himself in a position where he was not going to be in a vulnerable, vulnerable state. Absolutely. Oh man. Oh, he tried to end the he tried to end that stock right there. Arrow, arrow hyper focused right now. He's gonna get caught up air, double up air up the platform, a triple up air. Kalos coming through yet again. Okay, but now the boomerang is in Eon's favor, but it does not matter. Uh, great back air. Fades back into the boomerang. He's applying so much pressure on the Eon. This percent definitely favorable for, for Arrow despite the deficit. <gasps> oh, and there's that oh. air conversion. Okay. Gets another grab, throwing out the boomerang, making sure that Eon cannot, in fact, what was that trap? That's crazy, man. I think Kalos actually saved Eon in that position because he was able to retreat to the platform. Look at this movement, <laughs> like the planking tactics at the ledge. He's going to do a back throw. Yes, he is. I love the utilization of the arrows, especially because when um, Eon is forced to recover low, the arrow forces Eon to burn his jump. What was the second part of oh, up smash? F smash. Oh, so unfortunate. That's going to cause arrow his stock. All right, but we've seen him bring it back from situations like this before. Oh, but Eon just <laughs> the corner carry, and then he started man. just carrying him right back the other way. Absolutely, dude. Fifty-two percent on that. And he's still going two up airs. He's might be able to survive a second up air. That forward smash is going to be deadly, though. Arrow bringing it back to a last stock situation here, but he's got one whole game between him and Eon at 124 percent what a great bomb recovery yeah and Eon was ready for it though he took a swing with that up smash he just was not able to time it correctly and now Arrow finds himself off stage and at the ledge again and F smash from Eon is gonna give him the set 2-0 yeah completely calling out the neutral getup from Arrow and that's gonna 